Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 7th of January 2022. How are you doing today? I hope you're keeping well. Uh, I am, am back from my lunchtime swim. I had lunch as well and I savoured my swim as though it might be my last because it might be my last for a while. I'm not sure we are waiting here in Thailand for a new government announcement on possible restrictions because of Omicron. Yes, uh, yesterday there were announcements about restricted travel to different provinces again, etc, etc, work from home again, although I think most people are still working from home anyway. And uh, today there will be a further announcement. Um, not sure what it will entail, but it might mean closing swimming pools, which is really annoying to me because I am actually the only person that uses the pool. It's very frustrating because it's a huge pool. And when they ban swimming, uh, close all pools, um, I presume they, they assume that's because there are lots of people in the pool, you know, that could uh, interact with each other. But I am actually the only person in it, and it's a big pool. <laughs> so it's doubly frustrating. It's just like, it's there. I'm the only one. It's full of chlorine. And nobody's, I'm not interacting with anybody, you know. It's a... Uh, very annoying, but anyway, fingers crossed that they don't uh, go that far, um, but they might. Anyway, let's see, and it would be great if this Omicron and just COVID in general would, would disappear this year. <laughs> Very unlikely, I know, but wouldn't it be great? Okay, I found the first number. It took me a while, but three blocks across here, three blocks across here, and three blocks up there. So that is a three that we can place. Eight blocks across here, that means eight is in one of these squares blocking across here as well. So that now must be an eight. Let's see what's missing from here. Uh, two, four, five, we've got a two, we've got a four, we don't know anything about the five. Um, is it gonna help us in any other way? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so let's uh, keep on walking around. Um, okay, I've seen another one. This one blocks this square, this one blocks this square. So one fits here. The missing numbers are two and five for this row. Uh, and here's a two blocking this square. So two's got to be here. And five has got to be here. Ah, now I said a moment ago, didn't I? Missing numbers here were two, four, five, right? Well, now we've got a two and a five blocking the square, so we now know that four has got to be there. And the two and the five are there. Uh, is that going to give us anything else? Uh, okay, I think that's it for now. Uh, right, keep looking, keep looking. It's another warm day here, by the way. Well, uh, not seen anything specific, but I have, well, it is specific, of course, but I mean, uh, I haven't managed to place anything, but I have seen four and eight blocking across here, knowing that four and eight are in these squares. So knowing that four and eight are there, what will that tell us? It means the missing numbers here must be uh, three, five, nine, right now. So the three then will be up here. The five will be there, and the nine will be somewhere up there. Don't see how that gets me much further though, to be honest with you.
Uh, so I think it's time to highlight the digits and maybe draw in a few patterns and see if there's anything that I could tell from this. Ones are in those positions. Um, twos, not, we don't really know much, do we? Threes. Uh, ah, yeah, that's good there. Okay, we've got three blocking down here. Oh no, what am I talking about? Uh, no, no, no. I said threes are like that, didn't I? Um, no, not enough information. Fours then. Um, Fives. No. Sixes. <laughs> Nothing useful there. Sevens. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. Eights. Ah. Okay, we've got something. All right, okay. Uh, let me just show you again. Eight blocks down here and eight blocks down here. Eight blocks down here and eight blocks down here. Do you agree? So look, here we have four squares where eight can go. And they are in the top row and the bottom row of this shoot. So when we take the third square, th third block, sorry, of this shoot, which is this block over here, we know that the eight is limited to either this square or this square. Okay, so meaning that eight can't be in this square or this square. It's blocked. And the eight also, this eight also blocks this square. This eight blocks this square here. And so we know that eight must be placed there. Uh, nine's not much information. Right, okay, so let's have another look up here. Fives. Um, hmm. All right, I'll have a quick look and see if there's anything in some of the rows or columns where we have some substantial number, but I think there's not really, but anyway. Um, missing numbers are two, four, six, nine. And I think not. Oh, no, no. Uh, and um, 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 really, <laughs> from this point on. Uh, let's see what's in a line or in a row, shall we? Uh, if there's anything that looks promising. I mean, like two digits in, a, in the same column or row. That sometimes helps with this game.
Well, there may be, but I am not sharp enough to see them. So I'm going to go with uh, pencil marks at this time because that's my favorite method of solving. If you are a no notation so a notation free solver, good luck to you from this point on in. I think it could be quite tough. Anyway, uh, two and five are the missing numbers here. Okay. Um, and that's all we can say, isn't it? That's for sure. So let's go on then and say ones are missing here. Uh, ones will be in these squares. Ones will be down there. You can see the intervening, intersecting ones, can't you? Okay. Uh, and that's. Oh, no, actually, we've got one blocking up here. That's a bit two or five, isn't it? So one blocks up there like that. Okay. Uh, the twos then. Well, uh, not much. Okay, we'll move on to three. And hope for better luck. Um, no, not much better luck, really. Fours. Oh, yeah, I know. I said four, and uh, these two squares are four and eight, aren't they? That's the other thing that I said earlier on. And I can work out these digits here. That's what I should have done. Uh, so missing numbers are three, which appear here, five, which can appear anywhere, and nine, which are in these two squares there. Let's put those in before I forget. Uh, now we were doing threes, weren't we? Certainly, three is in a pair up here. Fours. Four is a pair down here. That's that. Fives. Fives are a pair up here because of this five blocking along this row, of course. Um, that's all we know for pairs. Six blocking down this column and blocking down this column and blocking across here. So that's a pair of sixes there. We have six blocking across here and down there. So a pair of sixes there. And that will, of course, give us a pair of sixes up in those two squares there. Sevens. Seven blocks down here, so we have a pair of sevens there, although they're not in a line. Uh, that be that. Eights now. Um, okay, so I mentioned before, eights are here and here and here. Oh, we've got a pair of four and eight here. Haven't we? And there and there, so those are the eights. Now we've got a four and eight, but I don't think we've got really much intersecting, have we? Oh yeah, the five's good. Five blocks down here, so five is in one of these three squares there, meaning that can't be five. That's got to be two, and that's got to be five. The two blocking down here and the two blocking up here means that that's a two. Um, Ah, there's nine blocks across here like that, so oh, maybe it's not so difficult as I thought. Um, I didn't see it, but you know, okay. Actually, it's maybe not quite as bad as I thought. I thought it would be very difficult without notation, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can get there. Nine blocking like this, so that's a pair of nines in you know, those squares. Uh, 
Um, right, so we know, we know what goes here, don't we? Uh, missing numbers are, uh, well, we've got one, two, we don't have three, and we don't have five. We've got five blocking here, so that's our five to place now, and our three will go here. Then we can say three blocking along this row, including that jumped over square, three along this row and three down in the first column will give us a pair of threes uh, there. This three now means that that cannot be three. Three must be here and we can remove candidate three from that square. And we can't really do anything else on threes. Um, <clears throat> Okay, if this is a 6 and 9 pair, these two numbers must be a matching pair as well. So they are 1 and 7. Is there anything with any 1s or 7s? No, they aren't. So we can't tell which is which. But we do happen to know that they're 1 or 7. Okay, let's uh, put 7 as blocking here and here. So 7 is a pair there. So this block is complete now. Uh, so up here, one, two, three, four, five, six is done. Seven blocks up here. Seven goes in those squares. And then nine can go anywhere, right? So we'll finish that block off. Okay. So it matches one, nine, two, nine, one, two, three numbers in three squares, which is correct because we've got a matching pair down here. Uh, this 6 and 9 here now means that that can't be a 9, so I should remove that 9 and leave us with a pair of 1 and 7. Okay, 7, 9, 6, 7, 9, yep. That's looking okay now. Um, right, has anything else occurred that means I can remove anything else? I wonder. Um, no, probably not. Now, where to go from here on in? Well, I think this, look, there's a lot of, this block is complete, isn't it? So maybe I should do this middle block here because this block is also complete here. So we got one here. Uh, what do we know about two? Um, nothing at all. So we'll put in the twos there. Three, four is done. We know five blocks down here and five blocks across here. So we know in fact that five is a pair there. Um, sixes, we've got a six blocking up this column here, so we've got three available locations for, oh, no, 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 we've got six blocking across here, I should say. Six is in those squares, almost made a, 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 a blunder. Um, right. So I think that's okay now then, so let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah, it all tallies, um, error checking is fine. And I think it's important, if you're a beginner, it's important sometimes to check for errors or mistakes as you go along um, rather than waiting until it's too late and then everything comes crashing down later. Uh, now I don't think it matters where we go from here on in, do you? Um, it's all much of a muchness. So I'll just start at the top left by convention. Uh, so we have a one, we have a two blocking this square here. So let's put the twos in there. Three is in already. Four we know nothing about. So we'll place the four in every square. And five is in, six is in, seven blocks of this square only. So those are places where seven can go. Eight and nine is in and done. Right, here we have one blocking up here. So we've got four possibilities for one. Um, do we know anything about twos in this block? I think not. No, indeed not. Twos can go anywhere. Three, four. Four blocks up the middle column. So fours are available like that. Five is in, six blocks up the middle column also, right? We've got six down here. 
So there are six in those squares. Seven, eight, and then nine blocks up. Ah, nine blocks up the middle column as well. Now that means there are, I've done that three times, right? So, uh, so uh, is it four, nine, six, six, nine, and four? Is that right? Hey, what did I click the wrong? I think I may have hit the wrong button. Yes, I did. I've put. I must have put eights in there. Can I go back? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. That's uh, these squares. I meant to. I must have hit eight instead of nine. Apologies, but I noticed it anyway. It doesn't matter because I've seen. I've seen the pattern, right? <laughs> uh, six, four, and nine only. So what does it mean? Six, four, and nine are in these squares, and that's going to leave just one and two here. Okay. Or you could say, look, this is a matching pair of one and two, so we can remove the ones and twos. Either way, you see it. The answer is the same. We've got four, six, and nine. Now, I guess if you're playing notation free, you will have seen that. You're eagle eyed enough. Uh, well, now we have one and two blocking down here, so it means that this two cannot stand. And when we go, come down here, this one cannot be true. And so one will be in this square here. And one will be in this square here. And we can remove candidate one from there. Just seeing if there's anything else available yet. No. Okay, I think that's it. I don't see anything else that I can do just at the moment. So let's go over here. One is done. Two blocks down here and two blocks across here. So four possibilities for two. Three is in situ. Four has carte blanche to go wherever it feels like. It's the Shenzhen visa of the numbers world. Five blocks across here. So we can place fives in those squares. Six is in seven, not yet. Seven blocks down here and seven blocks across here. So seven is like that. Everything else should be done right here. Okay, we've got a lot of candidates down the bottom left. The southwest is highly overpopulated. It'd be nice to reduce it if we can. Yeah, we can. Look, 2, 4, 4, 8, and 2, 4, 8. That's nice, isn't it? So we can certainly reduce it by quite a lot now because it means no 2s, 4s, or 8s are allowed. So when we look at this square and we say, get out 2, get out 4, we are left with just a 5 that we can place. And we also know that's going to be a 9. Uh, let's get rid of candidate 9 here. And then come back to this 5 and say, get rid of these fives. Okay. Uh, okay. Now there's just something's wrong here. Two, four, eight. Oh no, that's okay. It's not wrong. That's got to be this way is two or four, right? Okay, no, that's okay. Um, now, is there anything else before we go further? Let's keep looking. There might be some more to do. get on with it. Two blocks across here and this is a pointing pair of twos down here so two is in these squares. Three is in place, four blocks down here so we've got four in these squares. 
Uh, five blocks along here. Oh, five we can place. Five blocks along here. Down here, we can now place our five snugly in here. And we also know that this must be a five. And this will have to be a seven since we've got all the candidates here now. This must be a nine. Two goes here, one goes here, seven goes here. One gives us a nine up here, uh, meaning we can get rid of the nines in those places. Now we've got six and seven pair, so this has to be a one. And this will have to be a two with our one place there. One number to complete this column, it is indeed an eight. We had an eight down, that means this is going to be a four. Our eight will be here. Okay, seven means that we can get rid of this candidate seven now. We don't need it any longer. We're left with a pair of two and six across here, which looks to be good. Uh, I didn't actually finish the, the candidates down here. I just went off because um, you know there was so much to see. It's like you saw uh, a beautiful vista and thought, I must go there. So let's get back and finish these candidates. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's done. Seven blocks down here and seven blocks across here. So we have a pair of sevens there. Eight is in already. Nine blocks across here. And that's it. So we have three possibilities for nine before we check out. What else we can do now? There must be some more to do, I'm sure of it. Um, all right, shall we hit the digits and see if I've got more things to remove? One is complete, I should remember that. Uh, two looks, ah, two, here we go, so this must be a four, oops, wrong thing selected, so this is a four, now uh, two will be in this square now, because two can't come here, can it, and now we know we've got a two and a four, that's got to be a seven, and this must be a five there, meaning this is a three, and our five will be placed here, huh, is that right, yes, okay, thought I'd made a mistake there, this three can be kicked out. And now this is the only space for a three because we've got a three blocking here and here. So that must be a three. Uh, we have a four here now, so this will be an eight. Our four is in this square here. One number to complete this column. We've got the four, we've got the eight. That must be a two. This must be a four. We've got the two and a four. We know that's an eight. Uh, one number to complete this column, I think it is a six, isn't it? Which will give us a nine in this square and a six here. Uh, this nine here means we must remove candidate nine from there. And that matches four, seven, four, seven, four, seven. Hey, look, we've got ourselves a unique rectangle here. Let's take advantage of it. This square here, we can remove the 4 and the 7, leaving us with a 2 and 9. Okay, We may not have needed it, but, you know, why not use it, is what I say. Use it or lose it, don't they say something like that? 9 blocks across here, so these 9s can in fact be taken out, and the 9 placed firmly here, and this will be a 9 anyway, because this can't be a 9. Let's take it out. Uh, right, so we've got a 4 here now, so we know that this is a 7, and we've got a 4 already, so we know that's a 2. 6 is here, 2 is in this square, we have a 4 down here, so this is a 6, with a 4 placed here. 6 gives us a 7 in this square, and to finish a 6, no, not to finish, there's something down here I missed. 4 we have, so that's a 7, this time to finish, hopefully, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, it took me quite a while to get there, so I'm not sure about the... I think maybe just a smidgen more difficult than usual. I certainly couldn't get there without candidates, although some of you probably could because there were some things that I missed uh, in that kind of crossover period, and you know, where I started writing the candidates and noticed things that I didn't notice before. Those of you who are eagle-eyed will no doubt have seen them. But anyway, a nice puzzle, I think. Um, I'll be back later with some more Friday stuff. 
Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.